and we sell to other states, but the basic premise of what we do is small artisanal producers from all over the world. Um, obviously with the Austrians it's the importation, but within Vermont many other things. Um, but because we import the Austrians, they're one of the absolute most important things in our book. At any given week in, in, in Vermont we send out a third of our deliveries are Austrian wines. Um, so we have a beautiful book, eight producers. Um, Leo, this is his first trip over here, so we're, we're well, it's first trip into New England, I should say. Um, basically here for a very short trip, about five days right in the U.S. on this trip. So we, we have one up here, and Michael's been here four, five times now. Yes, they have these guys over here, and it's always a blast to hang out with them. Um, we just enjoy it tremendously, and also, as I said to Leo earlier, it's always a joy when we do these Austrian events because there's certain people that know Austrian wine. You know, we work hard to, to maybe facilitate that. Um, others that don't know the Austrian wines at all and to be able to introduce you to some fantastic wines, it, it's, it's always a pure joy. So uh, I'm going to let Leo and Michael go and just say thank you very much from myself and from Winter. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you that I could be Very here. Good temperature, trees. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's so easy. This is much better here than in New York. And, um, I'm very happy to be here to see uh, where the guys and what they do, and they do a really good job. My old friend <laughs> and employee, uh, Mike. Uh, he's uh, he's uh, the man. <laughs> he, he makes uh, all the ribs. Years uh, ago, I started and did it alone, but now I go back to my real big hut, and this is the cellar and the vineyards, and Mike uh, is on the front. <laughs> He's a really hard worker, and, um, and for me, sometimes I have to really to see where the wine, where the restaurant are, how they work, and what they are doing, and now I feel safe, very, very safe to have here, a uh, wine's here, this unbelievable restaurant, you know the, the food in the beginning now? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. It could be better, you know? It could stay like this. <laughs> um, yeah, have a nice, a nice evening. We, Mike and I, will go um, from room to room and uh, talk about wines. You could ask uh, everything. Only about wine, you know, no private things. Only <laughs> real <laughs> 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 no problem. Um, Leo, could you take a minute and just give everybody a little kind of education on Austrian varietals? Because a lot of them people aren't familiar with. You know, if I say too much, I don't have anything to say. Oh, you won't. <laughs> 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 Believe me, I have, uh, I have enough to say. Thank you very much. Um, how is how is it? You know how how was my winery? How is my background? My background is uh, my dad. Uh, he, he is a, or he was a wine dealer. We had um, we bought grapes and and uh, ready barrel wine and filled it in two liter bottles. We only had three kind of varietal. We had the white wine, the red wine. The half dry wine. That's it. It was a very small uh, facility, and we had 86 wine scandals, and everything he was not involved in the wine scale, everything was absolutely bankrupt. And I, 
uh, took it over in 1990. I was before in Germany, Australia, New Zealand, California, South Africa. And then I started 1990 from uh, about 400,000 uh, uh, euro problem at a bank, 17% interest, and uh, one acre of vineyard, no customer. But now it works. Uh, you will see. Here is my winery. Um, I don't have that. This is the winery. You know, we are, uh, it, it is like this. No roof on top. This is ready. It's done. It's very modern. Uh, I don't have that much traditional behind me. That's why I'm starting and do a new building and uh, new technology with old tradition winemaking. I be on the roots, read a lot of old books, and my winemaker and I, and also my employees. Mike is uh, our assistant winemaker. If we want to do some cuvées, new ones, he's always there and taste. And this is very important. Um, I only I don't be a dictator. I, I want to have my employees with me, and we do the wine together. Uh, but wine making is a very very important thing for me, and um, we have uh, now about uh, 100 acres, 50 hectares, our own what we uh, what we work, and uh, everything is organic. This is very important that you know. It's a lot of work. We did invest uh, in the last years around 1 million euro to change everything. And we were on the way to organic. It was not from here to here, we were here. But it's a very nice uh, and good way. It's, uh, I think it's the only way. This makes me so happy if I come to, to Burlington and I've heard about the restaurants. They work were together with the producer. Of the meat, you know, with the with the farmers, they make their own products like cheese and milk, and uh, breweries, small breweries. This is it is the really good way away from big industries. You know, the animal has to have a life too, and the same is uh, with uh, with the the grapes. Um, I think uh, our target should be have a healthy soil to the future and uh, this is what we are thinking and this is our way in the future. Okay, have a nice evening and uh, if you want to know something, varietal in Austria. Soon, coming soon. Uh, take your seat.